Oh yeah, yeah. I, I done watched so many YouTube videos, it's kind of crazy seeing you right now. I done been watching them all day while driving and everything, you know. Okay, for sure, for sure. Well, you know what I'm saying? I'm here to help any way that I can. Typically, we would be somewhere where you can also, you know, use your computer. Um, it's just a day. I was just trying to like break down what I'm trying to do because I'm gonna probably be tapping in with you for a while, you know. Okay, you know for sure. You have mm -hmm. the option of playing it with your MIDI or you can draw it in, right? You just have to learn where the different parts of that beat is at. So let's take a look at this, for example. And then I want you to like uh, be asking questions and, and thinking of things, okay? That think, think sound, it sound Caribbean like. That think, 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 got like a vibe. So that's, that's, that's giving you the that's giving you the vibe right there, right? Yeah, yeah, right there, for sure. <laughs> and so you just kind of you kind of build around it. So what I was saying with these these claps is like these are like traditional hip hop, like the placement of them, right? Okay. Not really, okay. not really, not really Caribbean, you know. But mm -hmm. you just move the you you have to move where that clap lands to get the rhythm. So rhythm is very important. Maybe we do some some off beats like like that, some little like some little synchronization, synchron you know what I'm saying? Some, some what syncopation, you know, some some now we get somewhere with that, you know, with that sound. I like to layer my sounds. This is a snare, but I would rather have like a rim shot. So sound selection is important. When I use it in reason, I'm I'm inside of the sequencer. So I'm in the sequencer and I'm inside of this one clip right here. So I can double clip and this is the piano roll inside of Reason, right? This is our kick, kick, rim shot, clap, boom, clap the clap, boom, clap the clap. Boom, clap the clap, 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 boom, clap, clap, clap. So once you load up that drum kit, it, the whole drum kit is gonna be in that piano roll, not it's just not it's just a snare. Exactly, yeah. I'll show you one more time just so you can see it again. Like this is redrum, so this is with reason, just in case you don't have battery. So if I have their drum machine here and then I go into like one of my drum kits or something like that and I start, you know, I'll just load some sounds in or whatever. So here's my my kick, my clap. So now we got these seven sounds. So then when I go to my sequencer, the sounds are here, right? As you draw them in, you know, it kind of sets where you want those kicks to be. Even if you was to make like a, that right there being simple as it is right now, how would you still like make, turn that into a song? Like, like put the, you know, the eight bar verse or the, the four bar bridge and like just as simple as that with those sounds. Cause I, I be getting stuck. I can do that right there, but I just uh -huh. can't turn it into a song for some reason. I like, you know what I'm saying? Cause I want to rap on something, you know, I'm like, man, I just need to right. make something sound right. You know? Right. When it comes to sequencing, you want to think about creating that story. There's mm -hmm. tons of ways that you can do an intro. We'll just keep it simple. Just want something to introduce the melody. So I might just use just that one sound. Mm -hmm. And now I'm already into the track, yeah, right? Yeah. So just something yeah, like yeah. that. Like I just took all way of the rest of the elements. For the verse, I want to slowly build into that sound. I don't want to start with just that. Yeah, I might do it like that. So we'll go intro and we're going to build into that, like I said. And I can already hear like a sound effect happening right there. So I'm going to just add it in real quick. I'm pushing the song forward, right? I'm putting myself in their head and I'm going, okay, they're listening to it. They're listening to it. And now I want something different to happen. So gotcha. right when they're feeling that sound, I'm going to introduce something else. So the first thing we're introducing is the drums, but I'm also going to introduce this like a sound effect here as well. Let me just turn it down some. That's exactly what I want. So uh. I'll play it from the beginning right here, and you'll just hear the sound effect. Right on the money, right. man. Right? So now we like yeah. kind of building in. So, and now, it, and it's already started doing some stuff. So right here, everything is changing every like two bars or so. Here's one bar, two bars, and then here's a chain, and then two bars, and here's our next change. I'm gonna add in another element. See what I'm saying? 
you just keep adding in elements until you build up the song like that you know so now we in, now we in the full rhythm of the song and so maybe i'll change something again maybe i'll go back to like without this part maybe i'll like start it over like start the uh the transition back over again and then come back into it you know just to change yeah. something every now and again right yeah so now we in, now we into the hook, but when we get to this hook, we needed to change. You know, we needed to change again. So we already have it where it's like something something different just needs to happen happen right here in this area. So sometimes I just like create like some some silence. I'll just kind of take out some of the instruments like that. I'll just create like some silence like that. With that silence, I'm gonna go ahead. And I'm gonna also add in. I'm gonna also add in like a riser. Bounce this guy into place just so I can have more control over it. Bouncing into place is basically like creating an audio file. So mm -hmm. we have this riser effect, but now I have an audio file. So now I can kind of cut it and I can make it a little louder. I can normalize it. And all of that is all of that is is essentially to create a moment for this track. We're just creating a moment. You know, so I'm going to mm. duplicate that and then I'm going to get rid of that stutter effect for one of these. So now we have effect. But now for the hook, so because you were saying, like, how do we take that, you know, that four bars and create something out of it? We got to start adding in some stuff. Right. So um, I would add in like a bass line first into this hook area. So we know, like, OK, this is the hook. The hook area right so i'm gonna go like monotone real quick how do you like automatically know like yeah this bass gonna this bass gonna go crazy this is the one sometimes i don't monotone bass synthesizer is a great instrument and i just know that they have a, a lot of dope bass sounds and that's the only thing that it really does is bass patches so i know that i can go there if i'm looking for a bass but subtractor has good bass sounds europa has good bass sounds but it's just something about monotone it's like it's a first for me different instruments have different strong points right mm -hmm. and then it's just about finding that patch that it just does exactly what I wanted to do. So for this one, I, I don't know. I, it just I just heard it. I cycled through a couple of them. And it's like, oh, okay, yeah, that's the one. But I might not keep that one, right? I might not mm -hmm. keep that. I might I might change it. You know, like I I like that better. Yeah. Because now that now that's got that. You know what I'm saying? Log, it's got that, uh, I'm glad we both found it because now I'm finna come in here, log, <laughs> drum, bass. I've been looking for, I've been looking for that sound, man. I've been hey, looking for that. Crazy. That's his game. I've been looking for that. Log, Element, it's already man. a song. It like, like this, this, I really need to see this for sure because it's already moving, you know? For the next session, we do need to be in front of it so that you can show me, you know, like you can show me your, your session. And like you can be mm -hmm. able to like be hands on with however mm -hmm. you want to do. If you want to use your instruments or if you want to use your computer, that's the only thing I'm thinking about. So that way you could show me and I could say, OK, you know, why did you do that? Or why did you do this? Or maybe let's try this. And then you can get that hands on feel and like you can start doing it yourself, you know. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Cool, yeah. cool, man. That's 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 great. Hey, man, I'm just I'm, I'm excited, man. I've I've been watching. I know everybody say this, but I've been watching videos for months, man. And and I, once once I saw you, man, and then I was like, man, the reason look dope, man, to me for some reason it just looked way doper than the other ones. You know, it looked oh. like when I see you like working around, I'm like, I, I just feel I can do that. You know, yeah. That's 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 why I was saying. And then I was looking at Kickback Tour. I was gonna tap in with her. I was like, man. Chris just seen like 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 somebody down the street that we been kicking it with forever, you know. <laughs> I appreciate that, man. I appreciate yeah. that. What's up, y'all? This your boy, Chris Reed. If you are looking for help using Reason 12, make sure to go to my website, chrisreebeast.com. The Zoom sessions have helped many people before in the past understand something about Reason or understand something about the doll that they didn't understand before. This is why it's important to have a coach because a coach can help you fine tune your craft and get you to the place that you want to be. If you need help with Reason or music production or music theory, make sure to go to my website, chrisreebeats.com and sign up for a one-on-one -on -one Zoom session today. Peace.